here from a frugal homestead. Today we are going to make our first sewing project for the blog. I love to sew. I sew quite often but I want to um, add a few really simple projects to our YouTube channel as well as to our blog. So I'm going to share with you this really fast and simple project. So today we're actually going to create a hanging towel. If your household is anything like mine, you use a lot of hanging towels in your kitchen, maybe even in your bathroom, and they end up on the floor because your kids yank them down. So we're gonna make this really, really quick, easy project, um, and you can have a, a fun um, towel that you can use all year long and make several. You can make them for seasons and different things. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we've got our towel. Um, this is just a towel that I picked up at our local store. Um, you can do any size you want. Um, I like a little bit larger towels. They tend to hold a little bit more. Um, you can do just like a little tea towel. That works great too, whatever you have. And then you need some fabric. Um, I cut my fabric. These are, um, these two pieces are each uh, 35 five inches long and four inches wide. And you could go five inches if you want a little bit fatter of a strap. Okay, so those are ready to go. So what I'm, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to match the short sides of my towel here. And, sorry, I'll let the foot of my machine is not all the way down. Okay, so I'm matching the short sides here and I'm just gonna stitch right down those two short sides. Stitch them together. So I'm gonna end up with one long um, tie. So I stitched the short sides together. Now I'm gonna open it. If you want, you can iron it or you can do what I like to call is finger pressing, which is just basically like ironing, but with your finger. Next, we're going to stitch the edges of the tie. So we're going to fold it in half, long side, or as I learned growing up, hot dog style, all the way down. We're gonna start at the top and we're gonna stitch across, and then we're gonna come down and we're gonna go about to just before this stitch that we made will end about right here. Here, I'll put a pin in it here. We'll end about right there. Then we'll stop and then we'll start stitching again about right here. So we'll have an opening here. So I'm just gonna put it into my machine. Stitch forward and back get to the end, put my presser for my needle down, lift my presser foot, turn, and stitch. And I'm using a quarter of an inch seam allowance which is just right along the presser foot. an inch and a half or so away from my seam. Just gonna cut my threads there. I'm gonna leave an opening. Come across to this side. So forward and back stitch and then just keep going. Right, now 
now that we've sewn it, we're going to clip our corners kind of on a diagonal. And then we're going to turn it right side out. So to do that, we're going to start at one end and we're going to take just a wooden dowel. You can use a pencil or a pen, whatever you might have. And we're going to push the material through to that opening that we made down here. Yeah, we did that. Now we're going to do it with the other side. And this is thick enough that you should be able to easily turn it. Sometimes if you have much smaller ties, this process is a little harder and I'd often not um, sew like the end here until the end, um, just so that you could use a safety pin or something to turn it easier. But with this particular one, it is pretty easy. Now you can also see I'm taking the dowel and I'm poking my corners out so they're nice and straight. Okay, that's kind of what it looks like now. Now I'm gonna take it to the iron and I'm gonna press. And just kind of pull those edges out. So it's nice and flat and looks good. Now, oftentimes I would press it before I turn it, but I didn't do that step this time and it's fine. It's not going to make a big difference on a towel like this. If I was doing it for clothes, like if I was making a tie, like for a dress or something, I'd probably press it to start with just to be on the safe side before I turned it. It just seems to help the stitches to kind of lay flatter so you don't have it rolling as much on the edges. Alright, just get the end here. It's nice and flat. So there's my tie. <laughs> now, if you want, you could top stitch it and do all this stuff. I'm not gonna do that because we're gonna do some of the stitching on the actual towel itself. Now for this project, the towel would be hanging on the rack right here. This would be my rack. So we want our ties to be about right here. So if I just take my ties here and I put them behind. I'm going to have some nice ties here, right? It's going to tie real nicely. Okay. So I want it to be, I want it to be about right here on the towel. So what I'm actually going to do is just take a pin and put it through the layer here and here. So I'm kind of marking where I want it. And that's just for my particular towel. Okay, so you want it to be, what would you say? Let's take our tape measure here. I would say three to four inches. Yep, that's about four inches. Three to four inches from the center is where you want to mark your towel. Get up here. So here's my marking at three to four inches. And I've just opened this so I'm only sewing on one layer. But I'm not going to sew the tie all the way across because we want it to be folded, right, when we actually hang it up. So I'm actually just going to be sewing it to this center section. That's already kind of marked for me because of the way 
the towel was folded. So I'm just going to stitch it right here in the middle. Okay? And I'm actually going to do like a box stitch around it. So I'm going to go ahead and put one more through the center just to kind of keep it in place. Now I also put the seam right in the middle because that's where my opening is. And since I'm going to be stitching this, it'll close the opening and it'll also keep the seam in the back of the towel because it'll tie in the front. So to do this, we're going to put our towel with our ties in our machine here and we're going to top stitch along the edge here of our tie. And we'll keep it as straight as we can on our towel. We pinned it in place. That will help. My pin marks the spot where I'm actually going to put my needle down and turn. Going up. Needle down. And turn. And we'll keep going here. Closing up that opening. And now when I get to the edge of my stitching I had before, put my needle down, turn to complete my box. The end of back stitch. Okay? Simple as that. Got all my ties here. For all my thread, I mean. Okay. Now my tie is attached. Okay, so when I turn this over, you can see my box. And now I can fold my towel in half. Here are my ties. They come around front here. a nice big bow and it'll stay right on your stovetop how you want it and that's it now if you don't like your ties this long you can most definitely cut them down five inches ten inches whatever if you want a small bow right you can customize it to whatever works for you but that is how you make a hanging towel I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned a lot and I can't wait to see your towels. We'll talk to you next time.